Hi, 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 everybody. Uh, this is my next in a series on army building, specifically with the Tyranid Nidzilla army. <clears throat> now, if you've watched my other videos, you know I prefer a, I prefer a vanguard army with everybody uh, infiltration and deep striking. And no, that doesn't mean my entire army is infiltrating and deep striking. It just means that I use I try to have all my units have that special ability. So don't get crazy on me. Now, a lot of people out there like the Nidzilla army. Which is a very viable army as well. Now, my take on this, and it's only my take on it after reading the list, is that if you're going to go Nidzilla, you're going to go Carnifex. Uh, you want monstrous creatures in mass. And the only way I see to really do that is Carnifex, because all of them, all the rest really come in broods of one. So if you think about it, and then we're going on my army building philosophy, we're going to do monstrous creatures. So we want all monstrous creatures, or as close to that as we can get. Uh, that means you're going to be looking at three broods of Carnifex as your core. Okay, full broods. And typically how I do that is I have two melee fexes um, and one ranged fex in the front because that's going to be the, the damage soaker. He's going to be shooting as you move up and the two behind him are probably not going to be targeted as much and quite honestly one fex is, is, is ow. Now there is a uh, there is a there is a variation on this which I have been looking at and that is with the exocrine which is um well I'm, uh, you can go and watch my exocrine video I'm not going to I'm not going to go into it here but he is shockingly deadly because in many ways He's a um, yeah he he he's a carna he's a, he's a carnifex with a with a with a cannon strapped to his back. A big, big, big cannon strapped to his back, and it might be worth sacrificing one of your heavy support choices to take him. Nah, you know I'm just leaving it out there. I wouldn't do it still. I would still like as many Carnifexes as I can get, especially since the Exocrine, I believe, is still limited to only a unit of one. Now, the other good thing about the Carnifex is that you have an HQ unit devoted to them. Obviously, that's Old One-Eye. There you go. Obvious HQ choice if you're going for a Carnifex Stampede. And that's what I've been calling it, Carnifex Stampede, because that's what you're going to do. If you can have 10 Carnifexes on the table, you're going to have a Carnifex Stampede. Now, the other HQ choice with them I've picked is the Swarm Lord. And there's a reason for this, because you want the three psychic ability, the hive mind abilities, and you really want one of them to be Onslaught. Because you want to give them the ability to run and shoot in the same phase. Okay, that's just going to be – that's going to get – and you, you pretty much want to focus on one brood just getting ahead of the rest during that. Because that will be, that'll be your damage magnet. It really will be. Or you can just split it between them, but uh, but um, if well, one eye is not going to have any any psychic any hive mind powers, so you want to concentrate that on on the swarm lord. Also, that allows you to bring in your tyrant guard, another heavy hitting unit outside as a, as a formation outside of your normal um, detachment. Other than that, you're looking at the choices of venom thropes. I like them. Uh, that's for the ones you can, if you, again, you know, 
it's a, it's, it's just my personal uh, take on this, but the Venom Thropes are nice. You just position, you take three of them, you put them behind the three Carnifex broods. This gives them the two plus, you know, uh, this gives them Shroud, basically. Uh, and in addition, if anybody decides they want to assault any of those Carnifex broods, if they're if, if just assaulting the brood by itself is not deadly enough, then you get these guys with two plus poison, uh, just spanking them as well. It's just a, a nasty, a nasty assault if if they do. So it's a nice a nice combo of Shroud with Carnifex with a nice assault. It's nice. Now, the other way to go with that is, of course, the horror specs. But the thing with the horror specs is they're pretty much designed for strength 3, toughness 3 uh, units, whereas the Venom Thrope is just useful all around. That's why I prefer it. Now we look at troops. In this case... I would suggest if you can fit it, and we're talking about around 1850 to 2000 point armies, uh, lots of warriors. But for the main choice, you want two units of 30 knots. Why? Why? Because that allows you to bring in the Turvagon as a troop choice. Two of them as a troop choice. Just two more monstrous creatures in your army. You know, leave those those sixty knots sitting back on your edge of the table corner, on your in your deployment zone, just to make sure nobody comes back there to mess with you. Uh, they'll have too much on their hands, really, with everybody else walking forward. <clears throat> really, too much on their hands. So that just gives you two more monstrous creatures and and their troop choices, and their troop choices that generate more troop choices. Uh, there you get, and phew, who's going to complain about having more troop choices? So, so that's great. Fast attack, same deal. You know, you're going to be looking at the Harpy or the Hive Crone. Um, I prefer the Harpy because it's, it's, once again, it's still based upon those large template blasts on the ground to uh, causing pin checks or just snaring people or and general nastiness like that but yeah what can i say maybe maybe it's three choices there so maybe you just want to take you know two of one and one of the other uh it all depends on i guess your models but that is pretty much how i would build it in terms of upgrades definitely giving everybody regeneration in terms of the kind of effects is giving everybody acid blood, giving everybody adrenal gland, glands once again to get them up and into the fun of it as fast as possible. Now, the whole thing that when you're building around a Carnifex stampede like this is you want that D3 hammer of wrath attacks that occur when they charge for each unit. That's going to be, you know, the, the, the lead-in with them. <clears throat> so without going into all the types of points and everything like that, I'll let you work out the details on that. This would be how I designed my Nidzilla army. Uh, the Carnifex Stampede. Somebody out there, try it. I don't have 10 Carnifexes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, maybe somebody else's does, and then not to mention all of the other monstrous creatures, but just putting that on the table should make people just weep and say, what, what am I going to do? And they're all regenerating, and they're, they're even creating more knot units. I mean, just the 60 knots and then two other knot generators and then the Tyrant Guard and a Swarm Lord and 10 Carnifexes and two flying or three flying monstrous creatures. And, and then, wow, who do you shoot first? Somebody's getting into contact with you. And they, they just, ouch. 
Anyways, I hope you like that idea. Feel free to comment on it. That's the Nidzilla Army Supplement. Enjoy.